Good morning. This is Dwayne, and today is the fourth and last segment of Piano uh, Boogie for Beginners. Boogie for Beginners. Okay. So uh, up to now we've covered the Walk the Stairs Boogie, which is just one boogie pattern. There's many, many boogie patterns. There's and uh, and all kinds of boogie patterns. But we've just considered one called Walk the Stairs Boogie, right? And we've learned that in all 12 keys, or at least been exposed to it in all 12 keys. Not that I expect you to do it, but and some keys are easier than others as well. But the pattern is always root, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then back down, whatever it is. Okay. And we're using the the uh, blues, the 12 bar blues pattern as the chords, as the chord progressions for that walk the stairs boogie, which is very traditional. Okay. So we learned that pattern, <clears throat> and we learned that we could not only do it as a single note. We can do it as an octave, and we can do it as a broken octave. And when we do it as a broken octave, by the way, you can do it either steady like this, steady, 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 steady. See, all notes are equal, or you can syncopate it. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. So there's another variety you can use, whatever, whatever you like, okay? And then last time, we uh, took a very easy uh, right-hand pattern. Uh, and we learned it. And it was simply you play the. If you're playing this in the key of C, then you play the C, the C octave, and you slide off G flat to G with your fifth finger. And you play that in some rhythm. It, it doesn't have to be the only rhythm you can use. Uh, you could go depending on you know what kind of sound you want. But I just went. And you use that on when the when the chord is C and when the chord is F. And then when the chord is G, you move up one uh, one oct one note to D octave, and you slide off B flat to B, and then you come back to C. So today we're going to put both hands together and do it very very slowly because this is boogie for beginners, okay? And uh, oh, last time I also taught for those that aren't. Uh, you know, pure beginners, you could also do something like this. And we talked about that a little bit. There's other things you can do. You can use inside blues moves. Variety of things like that. That's that sort of thing too, okay? But today we're going to start stay with that. Okay, so hands together now. I'm going to play an octave in the left hand and uh, as I walk the stairs we're going to, I'm going to do it very slowly, okay? So here we go. I think I'll play it. It'll be out of range uh, on the camera, but you'll get the idea. I'm playing the, playing the same thing, but I'm just playing a little lower here, okay? So here we go. Potentials are almost endless for somebody that's interested in continuing uh, with that pattern and learning new patterns in the right hand to go with it. And a lot of it can be just discovered by experimenting with it. Okay, but that's boogie for beginners. So if you're a pure beginner and you're interested in boogie, that's a really good place to start. So we'll see it again tomorrow, but we'll be through with this boogie. We'll do something uh, entirely different tomorrow. Uh, by the way, if you uh, are watching this on YouTube, then come on over to my blog, which is at playpiano.com slash wordpress, and you'll see a series of videos uh, that'll, that'll be uh, published most every day on various subjects. Sometimes there won't be a video that'll be a podcast or an article, but usually it's a video. So we'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.